In this study, we would like to suggest that a high mobility group box 1, HMGB1, which induced melanocyte apoptosis, can be implicated in the pathogenesis of vitiligo. My name is Sang Ho Oh, an associate professor in the Department of Dermatology, Yonsei University College of Medicine, Seoul, Korea. As you know well, vitiligo is an autoimmune disease of the skin in which melanocytes are destroyed, resulting in patch depigmentation. Although adaptive immunity clearly plays a role in vitiligo progression, it is not clear what kind of factors make the initiation of vitiligo. Recent studies suggest that melanocyte stresses due to UV, ROS, and chemicals generate uh, danger signals, so-called damage-associated molecular patterns, DAMP, which activate innate immunity, thus connecting cell stress and melanocyte-specific cell death. HMGB1 is normally found in the nucleus, functioning DNA-binding protein and transcription factor. Uh, how, however, HMGB1 can be actively or passively translocated into cytoplasm or released to extracellular space, acting as an inflammatory cytokine. Actually, uh, although HMGB1 is implicated in the pathogenesis of autoimmune diseases such as lupus erythematosus and rheumatoid arthritis, the uh, precise role of HMGB1 in melanocytes and vitiligo has not been studied yet. In this study, we aimed to investigate whether UVB and oxidative stress could induce HMGB1 from keratinocyte and to examine the effect of released HMGB1 on melanocyte survival in order to identify the potential role of HMGB1 in pathogenesis of vitiligo. First, we observed active and passive secretion of HMGB1 from keratinocyte in response to H2O2 and UVB irradiation. And when recombinant HMGB1 was treated on melanocyte, we observed decreased expression of melanogenesis-associated molecules such as MITF, tyrosinase, and GP100 and cleaved caspase 3 and apoptosis markers was significantly increased. In addition, in ex vivo skin culture, HMGB1 treated skin tissue showed higher expression of caspase 3 and melanocyte disappearance. Moreover, the patient with active vitiligo showed significantly higher blood levels of HMGB1 rather than healthy controls. Also, greater expression of HMGB1 was observed in vitiligo regional skins compared to uninvolved skins. In conclusion, this study proposed a possible association between HMGB1 and vitiligo based on the findings that release of HMGB1 from keratinocyte by external stimuli could lead to melanocyte apoptosis. Thank you very much.